Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jordan here, back again with another Shadowverse video. You guys like the OTK elephant elephant deck that I played for rotation? So here are some more gameplay with the deck. I didn't change anything in this list, but however, I do want to let you guys know that you do have some options and flexibility with these cards, mainly in the forms of your like your two drops and your three drops. You have tons of options. So such as your three drops, you could play like. You could play Demon Chao Zane if you wanted to, just to have an extra ward, a 2-3 ward. You could play the new card Crimson Bolt L for kind of like more removal on the Evolve. Um, Beetle Warrior is possible as well because you are playing cheap cards, you're getting like the Fairy Wisdom stuff, so sometimes you have that option to play it um, as for your 3 drops. And you can also play Pure Heart Singer if you want more draw. It's really dependent on what you see on the meta, even Angel of Words viable. There's a lot of different options you could go about. And for your two drops, you even have more. Op you have options here as well. You can play Abby the Axe Girl, um, Fairy Dragon if you want to want an extra ward as your two drop. You do have a decent amount of fairies in terms of your Fairy Whisper, your um, Brambles, and such. So that that could be a possible card that you could run. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of flexibility here that you can run into your two drops and your three drops. Just to let you guys know, I think at the top end here is pretty good. Um, Venus, you could put in some Jungle Wardens if you want some more defense. Um, you could also think about adding an Elf Queen. The meta has kind of made it so just a bit more aggro. There's a lot more Dirt dirt Rune, aggro Dirt Rune. So if you want to add some more defense, you can. But yeah, I'm just going to be running the same list in this video. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification so you know when new videos are up. Give this video a thumbs up and drop a comment down below. As always guys, I appreciate the support and thank you so much for watching my video. Portal Craft. Okay. Should be a good matchup for us. Since Portal Craft is super slow. Throw us all back though, it's not what we're looking for. Man, we get back the elephant. You, you never want to see the elephant in your opening hand. Like... Cause if you draw the second one, you're just playing super slow. Even against Portal Craft, double elephant in your hand. You need at least one for free or a low key. Venus. Mm, so we have our four or five play set. But do we pass on the first three turns? Hmm. You gotta play that. We lose the initiative because he gets to evolve first, he has to board first. Which is kind of annoying. No, I need to, I need to play Arya to set my Venus turn because most almost every time I play Venus on five, and then I could draw a card. He might evolve it. Hmm? He doesn't evolve it. I think you should evolve there just because you're head on board and you get to draw an artifact. Um, here I'm going to evolve the... Turn 5, he can make... No... The, f the 5 drop legendary doesn't kill the Venus. Yeah, I evolved a Wisp. Just so I could trade. That's one way to kill my Venus. Uh, we'll just play the second Venus, I think. Our hands, not that great. Starry Elf. Because if I evolve the the Lilac into it, it's kind of a waste. Actually, double Lilac doesn't seem too bad. Because I still have the second one. And this has become the 3-6. Yeah, I actually like the double Lilac. 
Because if he wants to play um, Duet Machina, I have the answer to Machina. And on turn 7, I could play Venus, Harvest Festival, and Lily if I want to draw some cards. I, I think I do have to draw cards. And then turn 8, we play Aaron. Whoa, what's this? Being Russian being. Wow, that's the first time I saw someone play that one. The second Lilac is still really annoying on this board. Alright, nice. Aaron's a decent pickup. Give me evil points, because he's two evil points up on me. Pick up a Cassiopeia, that's good. So if we don't have to Aaron, we won't, because I'd rather just draw cards off Festival, if we don't have to use the Aaron. It's really hard to activate the Harvest Festival actually, because two of them are on the board. It doesn't have anything. Um, there's no way of activating... There's no way of activating my Harvest Festival this turn. I could just play Aaron and evolve my Venus actually. This puts a lot of pressure, like we have one elephant in our hand. It's really hard for him to deal with this unless he has the um, the banish for 5, but then that'll take his turn. You can banish it and trade into my Aaron and then that'll be it. Oh, okay, he needed that. He loses his resin. Oh no, he doesn't because he doesn't have to trade that. That's pretty good. That's quite good. It's like a Cassiopeia, Fairy Whisper, and Water Fairy. That's three cards. So I draw two. So I go to eight, seven, six. I might overdraw, but that's fine. Actually, no, I don't have to overdraw because I can just play the fairy. Alright, Loki, that's what we wanted. That's what we wanted. I could play, get a full hand with Loki, so I get 16. I have 17 damage then. We should have this unless he has a ward, but he hasn't played any. Oh, he has played artifacts that gave him a ward. I don't know if he got it yet. There it is. Okay. We could get rid of that ward with Sylvan Justice. So as long as he doesn't have a ward here, we we'll have we have seventeen. If he does play a ward, I'll probably just go for Aaron actually, just to get the double enhance. Behind it, all right, we got him. It was really hard for him to have a ward because he just played, he just put some in his deck, so he had to just naturally have one. Another Portocraft. I'll, I'll take Portocraft. Uh, I do want Venus. Alright, I'll take this hand. 
probably can make this hand better is like we draw Arya so we can make Venus draw a card on foot. Going first too so we could oh nice okay it's going good this game more portal crafts recently that's interesting people are starting to realize that it's actually a good good deck I'll take the trade there protect my lilac clash effect um, this way I could actually kill a 2-3 It's not giving it to me. Okay. Well, we go face here because he's going to he's going to activate the clash anyways with the two one. He has to. Always he gets punished with whatever he plays and evolves. Oh, substitution. Yeah, he can use the puppet to activate the clash. The but what's the point? <laughs> okay, now it's- Oh, he's going to evolve here. Interesting. So he's pushing four? Whoa. Okay. I'll take- I may I'll take that. Drew Fairy Whispers, which is actually really good because now I can activate my Harvest Festival for the next few turns. Do I want to go up on Double Harvest Festival? My hand is dry, but... Okay, no we don't. Maybe... Yeah, we can activate it. Lilac is a great draw. Because his board is empty, he wants to play Duet Machina this turn. Sick Lords, decent card. Okay. Do you even evolve here? Oh. Okay. Can't go Lily. Lily saved my evil, but then I can't activate Harvest Festival, which kind of sucks. Which I want to activate Harvest Festival. Yeah, we'll go Venus. Do I want two Venus? Uh, we can always bounce back at Harvest Festival with Barrage. Draw some cards. Chris, he'll probably find a rush. <clears throat> yep. Okay. Probably copied it as well. Does he trade? Yeah, yeah, he trade. Okay. I think we should just draw, start looking for more cards. One, two, three, six, eight. If I play the Fairy Whisperer, I got to seven cards. Then I draw two, so I'm not, I overdraw, so it's not an overdraw. Actually, if I go. If I go an elf in this turn, I set up Lethal because I'll have a full hand. Yeah, I'll have eight cards, so plus 
The 16 plus 1 is 17 again, and I have an extra 2 here. Nah, he never kills me, so let's just go face with this. Uh, yeah, let's just go face. Knowing Portal Craft, they have no big burst, so 6 damage on the board is not really threatening when I'm at 20. He has to have a ward here. He hasn't played any um, of them that would give him the ward, so he has to get it from his swordsman. See, he would have had to draw it. He doesn't have it, though. So we're good. We actually get our maximum damage on our elephant because we get the the fairy back. <laughs> All right, I actually only I don't have three copies of Roland, so I'll take it.